You know, I made mention yesterday about preaching here in the Los Angeles area. Flu epidemic came. The headline Los Angeles Times, 1957, said, the fall 1957, two million people in Los Angeles area have the Asian flu. You know, I saw crowds dwindle down to nothing. You know, the building was full at nighttime and good crowd in the daytime to teach at 10 o'clock. Nighttime, I sat on the platform counting 40 people, counting me and my wife. You know, people either afraid to come or else they got the flu. Both football teams over in uh, West Covina, two high schools there at that time, 57, I don't know how many is there now, canceled their football game on Friday night because, you know, one squad, everybody had the flu, the other everybody but two had the flu. And in one of my day services, there's six of us out. I was there, the pastor was there, two other visiting pastors was there, and then two other people. So I just went ahead and gave Bible lessons, just like this big crowd there. Then we four preachers were standing around talking. And of course, that's on everybody's lips. That's what all they're talking about. See, the first place, don't ever talk about those things. You know, they might make momentary reference, but I mean, just continue to talk about what the devil's doing. So one of them said to me, aren't you afraid? That's all they're talking about. I just didn't say anything, just stood there. Said, don't, aren't you afraid you'll get the Asian flu? I said, no, I don't mind telling you, I'll never have it. <laughs> don't mind telling you, I'll never have it. See, now that's my testimony. That's what I believe. I don't mind telling you, I'll never have the Asian flu. The pastor stepped up and whispered in my ear that I wouldn't say anything like that for anything or whispered. I said, why? They stepped up and whispered again. Don't you know the devil will hear you? Now, see, they just got through telling me the devil's got power. Oh, he's powerful. You know, I'm convinced that in most Christians, even with the charismatics, that the devil's about this high and God's about that high. He's a little bitty scrawny fella. No, I'll tell you, bless God, I believe it's the other way around. I believe God's higher than you can reach, higher than the heavens. And the devil's down here. He's not very big because God, through Jesus Christ, has reduced him to size.